Congratulations, Gary. What are your thoughts on tonight's game? Um, I was encouraged. I was encouraged by the performance tonight. You know, we played against a very, very good outfit as far as I'm concerned. We knew there'd be for long periods that we'd be chasing the ball and Forest Green would be in possession of the ball, which sometimes can make a team lose their discipline or shape. And, you know, we're coming into games at the moment a little bit low on confidence in respect of not the best of starts. And, you know, I thought we started bright for the first 15, 20 minutes. I thought Jacob Reese put two or three very good balls into the penalty area. And I think it was a good shot from Zach Hansen with the keeper stopping with his legs. And the goal, what they got, it gave them a bigger lift still and they contained the ball even more. But to come in 1-0 uh, down at half time, you know, we, we wasn't despondent, we wasn't, you know, uh, negative about it. We just felt that uh, the longer the game would go on, hopefully that we could stay in the game and hopefully get one or two opportunities ourselves. And as we say, that I think we all know, John, that uh, this is going to be a very, very hard year. People have to understand that, you know, we've had and done very, very well uh, under mine and Steve Thompson's leadership over the last five years. And this is going to be a tough test in time. You know, there's no secret about that. You know, the, the club are in a situation financially where, you know, things are hard, even though the board and the chairman and the volunteers and supporters and everybody work hard at this football club to try and give us available the best uh, finances we can to compete in a league where, in boxing terms, we're lightweights against heavyweights. So, you know, you won't see me despondent through the season. I hope that uh, the supporters and the football club work with a group of players who I believe tonight showed the commitment what I want to see, irrespective of losing the game 1-0. And I think if you can show that, that's encouraging and hopefully you can get some results along the way, John, because we have to try and stay in this league. And of course, it doesn't help, Gary, does it, when you have a small squad and then you lose two big players like Delano and Jakubu. Yeah, what but we know where we are, John. We know where we are as a, uh, as, a, as a football club. You know, I know it's very hard for supporters at times and they, you know, it's quite easy for them to say, get up and press and do this and do that. You're playing against a team out there tonight who are a very, very good side. No secret about that. They've got a lot of quality. They won't be far away at the end. I'm, I'm very confident in that. They've got a good manager, they've got good players. But we haven't disgraced ourselves tonight. You know, there's been a lot of teams, and there will be a lot of teams over the course of the season who will be chasing the ball for long periods and, you know, get very disillusioned. We've, we've, we've got to take me and Steve Thompson a lot of positives out tonight. We looked a lot more solid. We looked a lot more committed for the 90 minutes with a work rate uh, than what we have in other games, John. And this is when it is frustrating that when you have... The opportunity is what we had to win at Solihull Moors and Southport, who I believe will be teams not being rude to them, or no disrespect, in the bottom six. We have to make sure that we have to take results off them teams, because where well, we are, John, it, it is a case of, of the same. We're in our league this year. Our league is a completely different league in respect of our, I think, expectation uh, of where we've got to and where we've been over the last four years in the Conference League. And I don't say it with um, fear or, you know, being negative, but we know that, you know, we're going to work very, very hard um, to try and make sure that we're above that bottom four teams. And hopefully, and hopefully, things go on in the area of a football club, which has got a great deal of history, for people who I believe and I hear support the football club and they've got a lot of value for Woking Football Club to try and put us back on terms in the right direction to have a team and a club competing against other clubs at this level. And Gary, you've obviously got a very young team out there. How difficult is it when results are not going your way for them to you know, keep their heads up? John... <laughs> It's hard, but these boys have to have a chance. We have, we have been, and we've been basically forced to be in a position now as a football club 
that we have to turn around and go down a different avenue this year. You know, uh, money talks in all languages, in all countries. I think we all know that. We've lost a great deal of experienced quality players who've gone to other clubs. Wonderful old saying, we think the grass is greener on the other side. Just as hard to cut, time will tell. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's going to be tough, I know that, but you won't see me or Steve Thompson getting disillusioned. You won't see me or Steve Thompson jumping ship uh, in any way or form. Uh, we're committed for the challenge going forward. I hope, and I'm sure it will be a case, that the fans will remain patient. I know the crowd is a small or a low crowd tonight for the first midweek evening game, but it is August as well, so let's don't be you know, too negative about things. But over the four seasons in the Conference League, or the last five and a half years we've been here, as a football club, we've had some wonderful times and we've done really well. And I'm asking and I'm hoping, I'm sure everybody will support and be patient to work with these young players and this football club to hopefully be at the end of the season a national conference team again. And talking of young players, Jake Caprice was the man of the match tonight and rightly so. So he, he showed great energy, didn't he, all night, bombing up and down that right hand flank. Yeah, Jake, Jake's got great engine, he gets up and down there, puts some great balls in there. Sometimes, you know, he can be a frustrating player, I think, because we, we expect so much of Jake, really, but he's a good, promising young player. Um, who, who, who's doing well at the club, and last time, you know, we, we're at a situation where we are now at the moment. That uh, you know, and we have been over the last two and a half, three years, John, where we've uh, had players go on to league clubs. You know, we keep being the suppliers, and I'm sure that Jake will uh, basically make or other clubs will take notice of Jake uh, going forward. So, you know, I want it the other way, John. I want it to be as a football manager that I don't keep, or me and Steve Thompson don't keep getting players what we have in the last two and a half, three years, getting them up, playing well at the football club, and other clubs come and take them. But there's only so much we can do. So anybody out there who's got plenty of dough or wants to support the football club the right way, instead of talking about it, put your dough in and uh, give us a bit of help. And next up, Gary, Dagenham and Redbridge. A club, obviously, you know very, very well. Yeah, it's an um, interesting day, really, Saturday. Uh, no doubt about that. I've still got a lot of friends there at the club. It's a club which has uh, always been very fond in respect of memories in my football career. A good relationship I always had with the supporters. And as I say, I've got a lot of friends there, and I'll still say it now that uh, if there was any club uh, apart from Woking who uh, was gaining promotion this year, Anyone asked me, it would always be Dagenham and Redbridge first, everyone knows that. But uh, I'm at Woking, I've had a great time at Woking and uh, looking forward, hopefully, to give a good account of ourselves on Saturday against a very strong um, Dagenham side who we know for sure have got an experienced management team, done well. And um, they won't be far away at the end of the day, even though that uh, you're always having played in poverty, saying they've got no money. They always seem to be there or there about, I'll find a few quid when they need it. So. Look forward to seeing you on the weekend. Lovely. Thank you very much, Gary. Safe journey home. Cheers. No problem. Thanks, John.